right play, will he beam it? Everything changed when the broke I want to talk about the AirPods today. And with the AirPods 4 just coming out, it made me think about the state of the AirPods. So when it comes to AirPods, it's a personal product. It is a product that is hard to talk about on video simply because the experience is based off of your listening preferences and your experience when it comes to the things you do with that of a headphone or an earbud. Now I have the AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods Max and both these headphones have a lot of the same features and some that are slightly different. But it's not a comparison or a head to head, it's more so the state of the AirPods. So something I've noticed with the AirPods and I've noticed more recently is that they've become better over time. I've had these for about two years and I've had these for about a year and a half or so, maybe two years. And over time, they've gotten better. And they've gotten not just a little bit better, they've gotten better in almost every category and every feature that the headphone and the earbud have to offer. The first time I noticed this was on an airplane and I noticed it with new features. And you can thank the H2 chip for that in software updates is, that this thing can update over the air. And we know that with many Apple products, but it's kind of wild that it is able to happen with audio. Now, the first thing I noticed was the active noise cancellation. And over time, it's gotten better. I mean, to the point of when I originally got these headphones, the active noise cancellation was night and day better than these. And the more and more I use these, and the more and more I'm traveling and having to make a choice, the more and more I'm noticing the AirPods Pro 2s to have very similar to better active noise cancellation than that of the AirPods Max. And what's crazy about that is that you're putting these in your ear with this seal and these go over your ear. And the fact that something this small, this portable, and really in reality, this cheap is able to create such a great ANC experience. It's pretty remarkable. And it's also remarkable the fact that it has gotten better over the years. And I feel like I'm not the only person that has said that. So something that makes the AirPods really special is transparency mode. And you have to have a great transparency mode if you have a great active noise cancellation mode. And what's nice about this transparency mode is sometimes you feel like you're not even wearing headphones. And that's something that's hard to show through video. But if you've been able to experience the difference of active noise cancellation and transparency mode and then taking the headphones off altogether, you really notice how strong and accurate the transparency mode is. So with good active noise cancellation, you have to have a good transparency mode. And for me, these AirPods have amazing transparency mode. They have great transparency mode to the fact that you wonder sometimes if you're even wearing the earbuds still. What is special about it is the latency. You have zero delay when you have the transparency mode coming through here, and it almost sounds like it is real time. I mean, it does sound like it's real time, and it sounds like they're not even on. And that's something special, and that's something that really stood out even before the active noise cancellation was how strong the transparency mode is. Sometimes the active noise cancellation and the transparency mode are too much on the polar ends, and there was a mode where you could just turn it off, but that's when Apple announced adaptive audio. And adaptive audio is really the middle ground between noise cancellation and transparency mode. And I've been using this a lot, even on airplanes, when I'm walking around, when I'm listening to something at work and I don't wanna be totally tuned out, but I wanna be somewhat in my own little zone, adaptive audio does that for me. And it's really nice how it just meets in the middle of the two and gives you that option. So I was at work a few days ago and the fire alarm went off and I had my AirPods on. And when the fire alarm went off, I was in adaptive audio and the conversation awareness completely muted my music, brought it down to a low volume so I could hear the fire alarm. So from a safety standpoint, that was really nice. But also like when I've been flying and I've been on either noise cancellation or adaptive or transparency, and I've had music on or a podcast or YouTube, whatever it may be, and the stewardess walked by and asked me what I want to drink, the second those vocals come across, the music dims and it brings out the outside noise into my headphones. So as you're tuned out, you're not always really tuned out. And that's what we've noticed with AirPods in general, mostly these is, people are having conversations with these on and something that became, something that was rude a long time ago is something that's more acceptable now because of these features that the AirPods offer. So something I hate to say, and I really do hate to say it is, I'm starting to grab these more than I'm starting to grab these. And these have specific reasons. 
These have more of a reason when I wanna tune out and it gives me the mindset of tuning out with over the ear headphones on. It gives people the idea of don't bother him, he's in a zone. Something good for coffee shops, something good for when I'm at work and I need to just plug in and go or something when I'm here and I just need to hit a zone. But with these, having these out in public is really nice because you're able to have the same quality of these in such a little package. But I do hate to say it. I hate to say that these are becoming better and better by the day and becoming more and more of a choice each day. I'm not gonna get rid of these, but it's just something to note that these are really good. And it has me thinking. One thing I do not like about these is the silicone tips. I have to use special foam tips for them to fit my ear. And it has me thinking with the AirPods 4 coming out and the version of them with the active noise cancellation, how good can those be inside of my ear? And it has me thinking it might be time to try those out and eventually retire the pros altogether so I can have that perfect ear fit. But with that, Today had me thinking and the recent AirPods had me thinking and just the technology and how good these are and how updates keep getting pushed on these, what the state of the AirPods are in. And I think they're in a great state. I think they're in a state of continuous improvement. And just when you think something can't get better with them, they happen to make just a little feature, just a little bit better. But with that, make sure you comment down below which pair of AirPods you have and if you've noticed a difference in yours. But as always, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're nearing 5K subscribers. And for me, that is a huge milestone. And I couldn't have done it without you guys on the other end of this camera. So with that, make sure you join the journey and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, you standing on business while you leaning. Trying to call the right play, Willie Beeman. Everything changed when the bro committed treason. Here, an angel God turned her from a demon. Meet me in the end zone. Trying to put the click on. Cause we grew up with a rent low. Used to want a Benzo. Now I want my kinfolk to get saved for the synth blow.